These are medications that affect non-depolarizing neuromuscular blocking agents. First, recall the mechanism of action of non-depolarizing neuromuscular blocking agents. They are competitive agonists to the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor, these dark green receptors, and they prevent acetylcholine, these pink dots, from binding and depolarizing at the neuromuscular junction. So the non-depolarizing neuromuscular blocking agents are these light green Xs. They are affected by neuromuscular disease, age, burns, obesity, hepatic and renal dysfunction, hypothermia, electrolyte disturbance, acidosis, and medications. The medications are inhaled anesthetics, which potentiate blockade, combining two non-depolarizing neuromuscular blocking agents. If they're part of the same class, they have an additive effect. If they're part of a different class, they can have a synergistic effect. Some antibiotics also potentiate blockade, like tetracyclines, aminoglycosides, polymyxins, and clindamycin. Anticonvulsants like phenytoin and carbamazepine potentiate blockade when they're acutely used, but can attenuate blockade after chronic usage. Lithium potentiates blockade, and local anesthetics also potentiate blockade.